Hi, this is Anup here. In the previous video, you have seen how to take a backup of your lab environment, and in this video, we are going to see how to restore your VMs using Altero VM Backup. You need to go to the Restore button in Altero Management Console. There are three steps. First step is choose locations to restore, and the second step is choose which virtual machines to restore. Third step is choose where to restore to. I have selected which VM I have to restore. I have selected DC1 as a machine VM to restore. Now it's scanning for the backup and it got the backup details. Choose where to restore to. So which host you want to restore. You can uh, connect to remote host if you have any remote host. Okay. And restore location also you can mention probably what I mentioned is local drive where I have all the other Hyper-V missions details. So I have created a new folder called DC Restore. I am restoring that VM to this particular location. Click on select and click on OK. And even I can change the name restore us there is an option to disable network card to avoid the IP conflict that is a nice option so I have started the restore process the restore process is going on DC restore is still going on you can see that status in the dashboard it's 83 percentage completed adding host name now so now you would be able to see the new host. You can log in and check it out on the DC mission if you want. You need to remember in your production environment probably you will get a IP conflict issues and other issues. So you should be careful. But this is my lab environment so I am fine with this. And you can see the DC1 folder which I created on the other DC so it got restored successfully. This is very straightforward process and uh, it's very user friendly process I would say. You can see the operational history, what are the activities done from Altero VM Backup Management Console that is very useful. Boot from Backup is also a nice option. You can boot a VM using Altero VM Backup. That is a nice option. If, you are, if your VM is not starting at all, it's not getting boot up, then you can use boot that VM from that backup. That is a very useful option. Now I will show how to restore. Click on next to go to the step 2. And in the step 2, over here I have selected Windows 10 machine to restore. Now I need to provide the restore location. For this also you need to select the path where you want to store the restored file. So I will create a new folder called Windows Windows 10 Windows 10 restore and even I can change the name of this VM and as you can see here is a button. There are two buttons previous and restore. If you click on restore button it will start restoring the machine. I can go to dashboard and check what is the status of the restore. It's 90 percentage. <laughs> Sorry, it's 9 percentage, 17 percentage now. The second VM also got restored successfully. And you can log in and check. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Please click on bell button to get the notification about the new videos. Bye bye.